Yo, it's Mike Even. 3 a.m. tape is out right now, but make sure you check out No Ghost Rider, my freestyle on No Ghost Rider. Hashtag Free the Ghost for J. Hill. Fantastic. Hey, what's poppin', man? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, was in the building. Hashtag Free the Ghost, though, with an A. No Ghost Rider freestyle series. You already know, man. So, um, special guy in the building, man. Mike Even, what up, dog? What's up? How you feeling, man? I'm good. So, I, um, I know you. But the audience don't know you, and I, right. I actually wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Right. I feel like people want to skip to the freestyle anyway. I just wanted to talk to you, but I was going to ask, is that okay? What do you want to do? I mean, if it's up to me, I'd rather just rap. Like I'm, I'm, I really just want. If, if you don't mind, we can say the question to the end. I just, I just want. I say the question to the end. Say the question. questions to the end. <laughs> Let's get straight to it, man. All right. <clears throat> it's crazy. We gotta run that back. We gotta run that back. Oh, let's do that then. My bad. They, they gotta get all this. <laughs> he want all of this. They gotta get all of this. That boy might give him back on the beast, yeah. This what happened when they asked for the beast, yeah. 3 a.m. Look, they saying where the hell he been at, they been asking around. Now I'm back in the town, ain't no chance for the crown. The same ones talking shit, gon' wanna dab in the pound. They graduated studying me, ain't no cat with that gown. Fix your skirt, nigga, and don't be hurt if I ain't work with ya. It's nothing personal, always the business first with ya. Far as a team, when I get free, I let a verse hit ya. Gotta try to grow with the ones that rose from the dirt with ya. Broke through the concrete, take notes when the dawn speak. That road is Jumanji, they robbing. I'm robbing Williams, it ain't gon' harm me. Surrounded by them zombies, careful what you write, you know they might I just ferret call me damn. Well, I ain't the most political. Still, I wouldn't group him with no gruesome individual. I never heard him say committed crime, just that black life was sacred. They still don't recognize self love from outward hatred. It's sad. I ain't gotta agree to see when good outweighs the bad. And Cap can't take a knee, but hate to see us take a stand. I can't pretend that everything is fine. Remember, Devin Allen was on the time. Now, all of them pics is in the archives. In the city, you still feel like apartheid. Stay away from them pigs before you get hogtied. Got me feeling like bread, so I'm on the dark side. The fuck shouting the pigs, how we treat our lives. It shot a two year old kid, nigga, my heart cried. The evil hitting from all sides. The fight is more than heavyweight. I'll be damned if I ain't shutting up tears to make the levees break. Wondering how long we'll be at war with our reflection. Lost in my home city, I'm looking for direction. Been on the edge and soul searching this whole earth and it's no working. Clearly, y'all don't hear me like old person. The pin game, Ben Flame. The one is my nickname. The city where you pray the iron won't be your end game. Insane in the membrane. I need an answer sooner. Maybe I should find a therapist other than my producer. I got a stranger addiction with other niggas women i'm trying to change myself but i'm struggling with sinning they probably blame it all on my struggles with commitment i be ashamed but still letting her come and kick it 3 a.m wide awake laying with my secret Wondering if she the one I'm really supposed to be with You know how them bands that make a dance Sweatpants that make a glance Funny how I'm making plans Can advance some shaking hands Like, oh, you look like a snack and an entree The Brad and Beyonce The raps and the song, babe She smacked off the bomb, babe Get snapped off the bomb, babe When ape shit, that's dangerous Don't act like Harambe uh, Please don't take that out of context Way know that these academics can get complex Just follow me, but You probably ain't gonna find me on no Twitter Tell Uber no apologies for riding for my niggas I'm loving what I'm seeing on the scene Moving mountains, trying to usher in a new regime I mean, I got love for the club, but my struggle is for Nobel Wishing I was happy, strong as Noel Don't quit, you won't fail Don't ride no coattails Don't ask and don't tell All hammer, no nails All cast and no tails Just come past the hotel She throw ass and so well I'm going sp Look, God ain't blessed me with money, he knew better Boy, if I was rich, I would have been Hugh Hefner No designer on me, they can't tell who's fresher Clothes don't make yo, the hoes don't hate yo She had a long day, so Friday, I take her to Euphoria I'm in my bedroom, but Jay, you know I'm supporting you In the middle of the night, she reaching over like a dick bandit The morning after, she's still getting the wish granted Cause in the sheets, I can make her preach all night and day My fee's in the bio, please call right away I ain't in the beef, getting carried off by the tray Why be in the streets when I can puff a almighty J? Wow. The word around town at 3 a.m. is official I seen Damien around the old way, he said we miss you I told him I've been busy writing, trying to convince you That a genius from the block was eating chicken boxes with you Love yourself and believe like even that 3 a.m. tape is streaming everywhere right now Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you want. Mike even, E V E N N. You right over there? I fucked up a little bit in the freestyle too, but I don't even care. We weren't taking it. She had to step back. We weren't taking it. God damn, Mike even is in the third. Can we get to the questions? Free the ghost forever, yeah. Free the ghost. He gonna support me, so he gonna come. He gonna take us to Euphoria. You know what I'm saying? My birthday, <laughs> my birthday bash is June the 7th. Let me plug that in. Let's go. Um, damn. Jeez. Oh, let that fade out. 
Type of shit that make you wanna. Alright, so um Mike Eden. Yes. I know you my guy. Okay. But a lot of people might not know you because the fame ain't there just yet. Not yet. We can, we can agree to that, right? Not yet. We'll it's gonna it be there though. Right. Um 3 a.m. What is that? What does that come from? That's the name of your your tape. My current project, yeah, it's called the 3 a.m. tape. Where does that eight cause you had one 2 a.m., right? Correct. Where does that come from? Well, um, the, the, the EP I did prior in 2016, uh, when I made that project, the 3 a.m. tape, was, well, 2 a.m. was supposed to represent, like, uh, a vulnerability in a time where, like, you know, all of us got dreams and aspirations, but I feel like that 2 o'clock hour when, like, you out of school, you out of work, you done doing what you're doing, it's like, you lay, you lay in your bed at night and you get hit with reality, you know what I'm saying, at 2 o'clock, or you play, you play the clubs, you know what I mean, whatever you're doing in the clubs, if you popping bottles, you fucking with bitches, you doing whatever, at 2 a.m., you gotta go back to your regular life. That might be back with your lady. It might be back to that pillow by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's what 2 a.m. was about. But it really, I just gave that a title. When I made the 3 a.m. tape, I really had like the 3 o'clock hour in mind. And I was focusing on like creating a vibe and, you know what I mean, following that same trend. So. Clearly, the talent is there, right? Like, we just saw it. If you say so. Well, I mean, I feel like I, I'm gonna say that, and I feel like my audience can say that as well. For sure. Um, and we're saying that the, the, the fame is gonna get there, the recognition is, go, is gonna get there, right? In due time. But how does that feel now when you see so many people who are popping, but not as nice as you? Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't really f- spend too much time focusing on nobody else but me. You know what I mean? I got a lot of respect for a lot of other artists, depending on what they do. You know what I mean? Regardless, you know what I mean? But uh, I focus on just trying to be the best me I can be. I don't, I don't really focus on like what I respect what everybody else is doing, but I just do what I do. I stay in my lane. I strive to be great. And, and you know, that's a great answer. And, and I'm not saying that you don't mean it at all. I'm not saying I that. definitely mean it. No, but, I, but, I'm, but, just, I'm not, I'm not saying that you don't mean it. However, it doesn't get frustrating. Just not even a little bit. Cause I know sometimes when you're, when you're going through things and you know, mm-hmm. you're good and you keep seeing people, other people get an opportunity that you might not be getting it doesn't, but not bother you. I don't want to say it bothers you because that's a nah, huge man. I word. think that I think that when I was not to cut you off, I no, think that did. when I was a little bit younger and I didn't really understand the music, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like when when snap music and shit first started coming out, and I was just like, yo, this shit is trash, you know what I mean? But I, I also wasn't in the spaces where that music made sense. Makes sense. When I started to mature and I started to grow and hang out in clubs and be in different spaces, I can understand why this music is getting the reaction that it's getting. You know what I'm saying? I understand. So. I mean, it's it's just it's all art at the end of the day, and people like what they like, and everybody's time coming in their time. You know what I'm saying? So when I was younger, I might have got a little frustrated, but it's it's not even about that now. It's just about being your being your, being yourself and being your best self. You know what right. I mean? You said 3 a.m. The tape is out right now. EP. Out right now. The 3 a.m. Um, tape. EP. You got two songs that I, I really like. Like the tape is solid, but Appreciate it's two that. songs that I really like. Okay. I want to talk about robots first. Okay. Um, it's a song about just electronics in today's age and yeah like we we lose ourselves in these electronics absolutely like, what was going through your mind when you was making this is this something personally or um i well i mean i, I definitely so with the music right i try to always say something that i feel like is going to be uh relatable you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying but at the same time not like fly over top of people's heads because i can do that sometimes and um the song is personal because I feel like we all losing ourselves to technology, but the way that I set the song up is really it's a conversation. When I say like, don't let the robots take you from me, I need you around, that could be applied to like multiple things. It could be like a man talking to his lady because she's on the phone all day. It could be a guy using it, losing his job, you know what I'm saying, to like some, uh, some steel worker, some new mechanical thing that's coming in that's pushing other people out, you know what I'm saying, like all these different ways that we're getting kind of pushed out by technology, you know what I'm saying, so it might not translate that way when people hear the song, because it's, it's, it sounds like a relationship kind of thing maybe, but um, it's a little bit deeper than that, but mm. yeah. No, I, it's, it touched me because it, it, that's, in one of the examples you said, a man talking to his woman, she on her phone, but um, vice versa, a lot of times in my field, my work is on my phone, right. and I might be talking to my girl, and even though I might look like I'm done work, I'm still working but she just see me on the phone right and it's like i hear that argument all the time or it's just that that complaint like i'm talking to you i want your full undivided attention it's like yeah. damn these the robots is really taking over or even like a conversation with yourself like me saying to myself don't let don't let the robots take me from me you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying because we get like you said your work is in your phone everybody's on instagram everybody's wor- worried about being viral views how you look how many likes you're getting you know what i'm saying so all of us are kind of like consumed by these devices so yeah no, definitely. I understand, man. I, uh, Cause I think um, 
one of the important things for me is we, we talk about this, we're in this Instagram world, and I say right. literally and figuratively, right? Because like, of course we have Instagram on our phone, mm -hmm. but Instagram made us think everything's supposed to come overnight mm. because that's what we see. It's right. like this instant gratification because you, you can, it's so quick, you can go online and see somebody with, that's, that, that has a million dollars and you don't see how hard they work for, but you see the million dollars. Right. Right. So it's like this instant gratification has become life now. We think this is our life. And another thing about it is with this social media thing is the fact that even if you got the sickest mind, right? The sickest brain, you can go online and find somebody, somebody to think the that same way you think. The same yeah. just like you. And now it becomes okay. And it mm. validates your, your, your mind that, it shouldn't be That's a okay. good point. You know what I'm saying? Like rapists, like like things like people that killers, murderers, yeah. uh, serial killers, they go online they, and they can speak to somebody just like them and that's the downfall. And of course it has a lot of ups, but it's like these robots is really, it's, it's sad. And yeah, I, 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 I mean, that's, that. technology in general is always like, the, if anything is, the technology anything. itself isn't bad. It's the way we use it that's bad. Right. Because, that's, because that's pretty much anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, the, 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 the second song that I really love was Noel. Word. Yeah. Um, how do you make a song? Did you have a conversation with Noel before making this song? Yeah. Well, about well, the, the, song? the, the song, the song is about the conversation that we had right. when she told me about, you know, her illness and whatnot. And, um, but I did talk to her about asking her if it was okay for me to make the song. Right. And she was like, you know, she gave me the blessing, but that we've only ever had that one conversation. Um, how do you make a song like Noel coming from her point of view, not really only having that one conversation. Oh man, it's tough. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I, respectfully, I didn't want to. You know, like if I'm, if I'm writing a song and she is about somebody who's sick, I didn't right? And through something, I don't want to keep asking them questions about it for the sake of me writing a song. That right. felt cruel. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to do that. So. But it feel. It sounds like you had to do that because it was so in depth that you would think you well, would ask questions. Yeah, I mean, the conversation that we had was heavy. You know what I mean? And I, I just remember. I just retained a lot of what she told me in that one conversation we had which was kind of long and um i just had to like sit sit down and, and embody what i feel like i would be going through if i was in her position so like maybe if you hear the song maybe like 80 percent of what's being said is literally things that she said to me you know what i'm saying but then like i'm adding like a little bit of like artistic sauce on there or i'm putting myself in her shoes and thinking how i would feel if i if, if i was going through a similar thing you know what i mean so it, it took it took me a while to write the song and not not because it was like emotional in a sense of where like I like it was tough for me. It was more so just me trying to focus on making sure I was painting the best picture of her that I could paint. So when she heard it, that she would feel like she was being depicted, you know what I mean, accurately or whatever. So listen, man, Mike, even I appreciate you for coming, man. Yo, I I'm glad to be back, bro. You know what I mean? It's, it's my pleasure, dog. <laughs> like we got Chick Fil A. Um, I hope <laughs> it's my pleasure. I hope the world can soon know who Mike even is, man. I hope I can help in just a little bit. You are helping. Right? You are so, helping. Uh, Mike even, no ghostwriter, hashtag free the ghost, man. We don't got nothing else to say. My guy Taz behind the camera, we appreciate you. We out.